My name is Judy Chan. I'm a teacher at Eric Hammer Secondary School, and currently I am the founder and teacher manager of the Eric Hammer Eternal Dragon Junior Team. Eric Hamber was asked to form one of the first junior teams when juniors were allowed to race in uh, dragon boat races in Vancouver. And I had been a um, member on the first committee of the uh, Dragon Boat Festival in, in Vancouver in 1986, which at that time had cotton t-shirts. I s looked at what the sport was all about and I thought, Expo 86, transportation, these people all over the world had come in to do racing and I thought kids could do, high school kids could do this, right? And so I said, why don't we get some high school students or junior teams in it? And they said, no, it's too dangerous, we're not too sure what, you know, how that would work out, liability issues. And then about four years later in 1990, I get a phone call saying, get your team ready, we're having juniors. So I gathered up some kids and uh, we had about a team and a half of kids and we practiced in Voyager canoes because at that time um, high school students weren't allowed to practice in the real dragon boats until a few weeks before the dragon boat races. So we did Voyager canoes and then we got a chance to get into a uh, dragon boat and at that year because it was so new um, we lent out our extra paddlers to various teams who were short in order to make the race happen. So um, it was quite an exciting, exciting time to be part of that first year. And the students that started that first team, of course, came up with the name Eternal Dragon. And they wanted it to sound good in English as well as in Chinese. And so at that time, they came up with this. They got someone's uncle to do the calligraphy because it had to be perfect. And of course, they drew the dragon boat with all the paddlers in it. And I thought that was kind of interesting and not realizing that the word eternal was going to mean that I was going to still be doing this sport three decades later with a high school team. I think dragon boat has been, has played, I think, a very critical part in youth development because it's given youth a chance to um, work as a team, set goals, and try to reach them. And the closer they get, I think the better they feel about themselves. So I think it really improves their self-esteem. And then I've also had former paddlers who have who graduated into adult teams or U24 teams, and they've traveled around the world and made friends all over the world. And I think when they meet another dragon boat paddler, no matter where they are, there is that sense of instant connection and camaraderie. And I think it builds a lot of uh, understanding that we are, that all people, regardless of their cultural background or ethnic background or racial background, we're all the same. And we enjoy, um, I think succeeding in reaching our goals and, um, and just having the support of people around us.